Hi friends and welcome back. In the last video you have seen on how you can get the query results without storing the results or we can get the data from the query without storing the results. And in this video we are going to see on how to fetch the results by using these uh, fetch methods. In the beginning we focus on these three ones and the last one we will discuss it later on. So the first fetch result that we will uh, go through is what we call a fetch. And what the fetch do, it gets the next row from a result set. If you don't get this at this time, don't worry, you will go through that and you will have a clear understanding. And the second fetch method is called fetch or, and it creates an array containing all rows. And the other thing about the fetch or is it can also accept some of the PDO constant so that we can filter our data according to the need of the display. And there is also what we call fetch column and it will help you to get a single column from the next row and you can enjoy this uh, where you want to make some comparisons or other things and you can use the fetch column method to get a single column from the next row. There is another one that we will look through later on which is called the fetch object and it gets the next row as an object and without further ado let's go to the editor and see on how we can use these fetch methods all right i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to open my code editor again and i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call this uh pdo fetch.php and as I told you, we'll be using these bare operates. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste them here. And after doing that, I can uh, go ahead and change some of the title real quick. For example, fetch methods. And I'm going to change also here. I'm going to call, where is H1? I'm going to call this uh, fetching results. All right. And there will be some of the codes that we will use, so uh, we, we, we don't need to type them again. So I'm going to copy this uh, uh, code from here up to here. They will be the same and I'm going to paste them up here. And after doing that, you can also go ahead and see if, they will, if we need another uh, piece of code from here. For example, for the error handling, I will need this. I think I will copy from where the PHP starts. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste them underneath here. All right, good. The next thing that we're going to do is to try to store the results that will come from the query. And to do that, you will go I, down here and I'm going to name a variable and I'm going to call this as a result. You can name it accordingly it depends on your choice but i like to leave it as a result and i'm going to say that the results will be equal to uh, i will connect to the database and i will pass the query and i will i will type the name of the um, variable that contain our query so i'm going to do like this and close and in this case it will try to 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 store the results a from this query and this variable we store the results that will be returned by this query when you take a closer look and uh, do like var dump let's try this out and I'm, I'm trying to to dump the results to see what it brings and when you go on your browser and type pdo hyphen fetch I will see that you are it will uh, return this as now it will be now the result that you will be storing all right so I'm going to get rid of this very dump to continue with our things and after we have storing the results of this query we can come back down here on where we can do the loop uh, in order to uh, uh, to loop through the results and I will do like um, wire and I'm going to do the variable as low again and it will be equal to results uh, results yeah it is result and I'm going to point to the uh, fetch method that is called fetch and I'm going to open these braces I hope we open them here and I'm going to, to do like this and I'm going to close right here and i'm going to close these brackets so as to match them to balance them all right and the next 
thing that you have to do is now to try to get the the, the values from this law as to use the fetch and you will see how it will look like and what i'm going to do i'm going to write php and i'm going to echo the low echo low and i'm going to point to first name for example and i'm going to close all this and close the php tag all right i can go ahead and copy this over and i will change uh, some of the data so as to avoid uh, typing all the punch all the code so i'm going to do like this and i'm going to put some age in here so when you, you reload you can see that it was able to get the result from the database but it was um it was able to do that by storing the results up here and we can do a bunch of things by using these results that's how now the fetch works okay moving on there will be some cases on where we need to fetch some of the associative array or some array and that's where we use the fetch or method to do that we need for example to add another variable let me call this or and it will be now the the result for example let's say result as a variable and I'm going to point to fetch or all right and in this case when I point to fetch or uh, let's try to get rid of this for now so let's try to to remove all this because we don't need to to bring the results right away we need to test first and I'm going to see what we are going to do here in a bit so let me get rid of these codes and try to open the pre tags um le let's say i'm going to open the pre tags here and close it here uh pre and inside the pre tags i can go ahead and i insert some of the php code to test i'm going to to use a print r and i'm going to pass the result as or and i'm going to do like this all right and what this will do to try to show us what these fetch or methods returned and when you go to their browser and refresh you can see that it was able to bring those results as an array and you see that we bring the results as one and to, to try to bring the results two times as to begin with the name and with the id so there is a bunch of other PDO constants that you can use to filter this out. For example, there will be this um, when you need to fetch the associative array, you would use in this here, you can go ahead and type PDO and type fetch underscore asoc like this one. And what this will do as to be a PDO constant to try to fetch the associative array. When you hit save and refresh the browser, you can see that it was able to return the associative array as to begin from zero up to two as now we those are the only data that we have but as you you are seeing you can see that it was able to return the associative array where you have id as one the first name as chris and the surname as hano and i would be getting all this data anytime i will be needing to get return the associative arrays all right there is another alternative for the fetch asoc which is now the fetch num and when you use the fetch num, it will try to return the numbers. For example, it's reload and see what to bring. We see that it will return this as numbers to return the array, but it will return the uh, indexes, all the uh, all, all this data in here, they will be like in the numbers. And when they say that you you are in the array you zero and the zero, you will know that it will be one. When you are in the zero and the three, you know that it is twenty-three or zero or two, it will be Hano. All right I, I hope you got that so uh there will be some other cases uh, when you will need to fetch the column only need one column and this work pretty much the same like we did on fetch so i'm going to hit a couple of uh, controls to to continue on where we were where we were trying to fetch and this is now this is now where we were so in this case while you are on this fetch method you will need to use what you call fetch column and fetch column we will get one column from the database and there will be other modification that i'm going to show you in a bit but let's see if it was able to fetch the column and when i try to say for example uh let's um let's try to echo 
uh, let's open PHP first and I'm going to echo the low and I'm going to uh, I'm going to echo low like that and we we'll see on what it will bring on our um, table so let's see I forgot to put the semicolon here so let's reload and there is nothing happening so let's see where it is getting the error um let's try to see if there was no other unnecessary codes in here and here it is here you have to comment this because that's the one maybe causing the problems and after saving you can go ahead and reload and see what will bring and you can see that it was able to return the contents of the column one from the database and when you take some uh, of the parameters inside the fetch column for example when let me say two uh, when I put two, I will be able to fetch the this uh, the second column, and when I I put for example let's put three, I can be able to see now the content of the uh, of the fourth column, and when I put for example let me put four, I, I will get the content of the column four if it exists. If it doesn't exist, you can see that it will bring us this error, and you can go ahead and uh, go back to the valid data and you can see that it will be able to bring the single column okay uh there will be this um a fetch object uh, method that we didn't see right now as i told you we have to take a closer look at on that when we will be moving on to the advanced techniques and i hope to see you there this was it for this video i hope you get some of the claims on how to use the fetch methods let me know if you met with any error you are you are free to post it in the comments and we will be back here to help you as usual so from now on till next time i'll see you guys in the next one peace